The Division 2 welcomes a lot of new changes to its core game. Some of those changes involve the gear system, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. The Division 2 introduces brand sets and gear talents. At first glance they don't seem to change too much, but if you take a better look you'll see this changes up things quite a lot. Let's take a look at how they work. Let's start with the brand sets. Brand sets are in a way similar to gear sets from the previous game. Brand sets are gear items of a specific brand, this time around they are corporations that have made the gear and these brand sets can be combined to gain up to 3 bonuses by combining 3 of the pieces. This means 6 piece builds are out of the game, for now at least, for what we have seen. But besides that, it also means that there are way more combinations possible because 3 is the maximum set bonus and you can of course whip 6 gear set items. The bonuses you receive from these brands aren't as strong as gear set bonuses from the previous game, so they're less game breaking so to speak. Also they can be combined between superior and high end items and even possibly with other gear rarities. Let's take a look at the 8 confirmed brand sets that are currently in the game. Just a heads up, I could find logos of the brand sets, but they were too small to make anything of it so I didn't put it in the video and used the gear set icon instead of it. The first set is called Eraldi Holdings and it looks to be a sniper-esque brand set with increased marksman rifle damage, headshot damage and accuracy. The second set, China Light Industries Corporation, is looking to be a shotgun and perhaps tank-like build. Up close, taking damage and all, it comes with increased shotgun damage, all resistance and skill haste. Follow this up with the Overlord's Armaments, which is looking to be the set for the PvE frontman. It comes with increased armor, weapon damage and damage to elites. The next set, Petrov Defense Group, looks to be a suppressive gear set with increased light machine gun damage, turret skill power and skill haste. The Providence Defense set is definitely a DPS set for people looking to spec into critical hit chance. It increases your weapon damage, skill power and it rewards you with the well-rounded talent. And this talent increases your critical hit chance for 6 seconds when completing a cover to cover move. Perhaps a more shield oriented tank build could be the Richter and Kaiser GmbH set. It comes with increased pistol damage, skill power and all resistance because yeah, you simply can't beat some good old German engineering. Next up is Solokov Concern which is a submachine gun DPS kind of oriented set. It comes with increased submachine gun damage, critical hit damage and critical hit chance. And in that way it's more suited for the SMG's playstyle than the Profitness set for example. But besides brand set, gear also has talents now. It used to have the two, but that was not the case on the gear set items. Each gear item can come with a gear talent. These work in a similar fashion to the previous game, though they also roll on brand set items like I mentioned. Only one talent can roll on an item as far as I know from what we've seen. Once again, each talent has its own logo, but I couldn't find pictures in the correct sizes. So it looked all blurry and stuff, so I used the same icons as I used for the brand sets. First up is Critical, which increases your critical hit damage by 8%. Devastating increases your weapon damage by 5%. Empowered increases your skill power by 10%. Hardened increases your armor by 8%. Hit and Run grants you a speed boost for 2 seconds when getting a melee kill. That is if your armor is under 70,000. Insulated increases hazard protection by 25%. What exactly this hazard protection is we don't know yet. The developers haven't said anything about it, we haven't found anything about it. It might have something to do with status resistance but at this point we simply don't know. Rapid decreases skill cooldowns by 10%. Precise is a good one since it increases your headshot damage by 15%. Very good for marksman rifles and even for assault rifle and maybe LMG builds even. Steady nerfs increases your weapon stability for 4 seconds when destroying armor or weak points. As long as you're using burst, semi-automatic or bolt action weapon. Striking increases damage to elites by 15%. Once again, good for a PvE build. Surgical increases critical hit chance by 8%. And finally, vital increases your health by 20%. Once again, minor increases in your stats, but worthwhile nonetheless, since they mostly give a flat bonus 
and with the exception for a few, they don't meet specific requirements, so you just get a flat damage to elite's bonus for striking, or you get a flat bonus to your critical hit damage from critical, so those are pretty good. This also means if you have two of the same brand sets, that they can have different talents and they also can work for different builds. So you have slight twists on the same build. And this makes the game a lot more in depth. And for me, that's good. That's a good thing. Anyway, so far I like the changes to the gear system. The brand sets bonuses are good and allow for more combinations. And the talents are also a nice addition to that so you can specify your build. Let me know what your favorite brand set and gear talent is from the ones I just showed you. Show your answer in the comments down below. Of course, we don't know all of them yet. We'll know that when the game releases, of course. But let me know nonetheless. For now, thanks for watching. Hopefully until next time. And peace out.